Look at what just arrived. A little rain oracle. It's a botanical oracle. Well packaged. Now, uh, MB Sun Art has a new Kickstarter that is currently funding. Link in the description if you would like support their Kickstarter. So if you like this deck and you're interested in the Kickstarter, uh, again, link in the description and you'll be good to go there. All right, so let's open this up and see what kind of good things this individual has produced because a botanical oracle sounds like a, a lot of fun to me. So yeah, the packet, wow, look at the packaging. Wow, that is a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Like two thumbs up for that. Uh, we'll help the flowers grow. There we go. We'll help the flowers grow. Uh, so Ambie Sun Art down in there. And I guess we've got a little pull tab. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm doing this incorrectly. Maybe I am uh, completely screwing this up. So do we pull? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. All right, we got a pull tab, and then when we take it out, we have a little rain indeed. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. Nice book. And then we have the Oracle deck. The book is in black and white. It is larger than I thought it would be. Wow, look at that. Really good uh, text. I like the fonts and whatnot. So we have the fern, the dandelion, the daffodil, the cattail. Uh, balloon flower will help the flowers grow indeed. You have an author's note, how to use, and then we go straight into the cards. So yeah, very nice. We got exclusive bonus cards in here. Again, if you're interested in their Kickstarter, so you like the art, then you have a link in the description. Certificate of authenticity. Well, look at how sparkly that thing is. So yeah, I got 1,400 of 2,000, wow. 2,000, look at that. That is insane, that's really cool. All right, man, look at the packaging on this too. So a lot of thought, a lot of, uh, a lot of care went into this packaging. This is beautiful, beautiful. Um, so yeah, let's take this out and see what we got going on with the cards. All right, wow. That's really cute. I like this. I kind of like the uh, artwork on that. Uh, I love the black background and whatnot. So here is the back, and then here are the cards. So, wow, look at that. Very nice sheen on that. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool from the sides, from the back. Let's take a look at a little bit of a flip through here. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I don't want it to be just obtrusively, uh, you know, intense, but yeah. Uh, Combe. We have Lily of the Valley. The Lithops. Lithops. I'm, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation on these, so feel free to hate me in the comments. Lotus. I got that one right. And we got Moccasin. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to pronounce that, try to pronounce that. It's pretty, though. I do like it. Very cool looking. Orchid. I got that one. We got uh, Padauk. Padauk? I have no idea. And then the Parrot Flower. So, yeah, when you produce an oracle, I really like it to have more than, like, 30 cards. Because we have been plagued by oracles with like 20 cards, 30 cards. But the fact that we have 50 cards in here impresses me, first off. Uh, passion flower. Speaking of impressive, we got a little passion within the passion flower is what I'm talking about. We got peony. A puppy. It reminds me of the Seinfeld episode. Prickly pear. It does not remind me of a Seinfeld episode. Uh, Protea, Protea, Queen of Night, I can't screw that one up, uh, I'm not even going to try, uh, Rumdol, Saffron, isn't that the most expensive spice, because it has to be hand-picked or something like that? Snakehead flower. 
Snowdrop. Sturt's Desert Pea. Sunflower. Tie a buck. Windflower. Harvest. Light. Asphodel, I guess. Baby's breath. Balloon flower. Bear paw succulent. Sounds delish. I do like bear claws from the uh, gas station, I gotta say. I'm kind of addicted to the bear claws from the gas station. Less, less so since I've gained weight, I need to lose weight again, but before, the Belladonna, I didn't mess that name up, so there you go, there's one for me. Bird of Paradise, Bleeding Heart, indeed. Isn't there a Bleeding Heart Tarot? I think so. I remember something about that. If not, I'll make one. Bluebell, I love that ice cream. Cantuta? Candida? No, I no idea. Cattail. Cherry Blossom. Chinese Lantern. Clover. Corpse Flower, my fave. Daffodil. Wasn't there a CSI episode where they used corpse flower to mask the smell of a corpse or something? Daffodil, we did that one. Daisy, it reminds me of 2001. Daisy. Dandelion. You can eat dandelions, by the way. Fern. That'd be interesting if we had a section of all edible plants. Forget me not. Let's go ahead and forget that one. Foxglove. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, Fuchsias. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Hemlock. Hibiscus. Hydrangea. And finally, a jellyfish tree. So let's go ahead and look at the book. And so, so in other words, you're going through here, you're trying to fi figure out what a particular card is. So let's go through there and pick a, a random one here. All right, so let's pick Lily of the Valley right here. All right, so contrary to the name, isn't a true Lily. So it gives you a little bit of history here, more history. So now you get to kind of get the card meaning. Seeing this card means a wave of good news is coming your way, whether it's in the form of big or small achievements. If you're going through a rough patch, you know the good times aren't too far away. Um, yeah, so you have a few paragraphs for the meaning of the card, a history kind of of the card, and then you have the keywords at the top. So, and then obviously the... Um, uh, Let's see, Lily of the Valley, uh, yeah, and then, okay, so there we go. So, um, yeah, I think that's really cool. That is really cool indeed. So, Dandelion, Freedom, Adaptation, Transformation, and then you have a lot of text. We got like five paragraphs here of text per card, so that's really good. I love that they included a book. The book is super high quality. It's super pretty. I love that they included 50 cards instead of, you know, 20, like uh, half the other oracles I review have almost no cards. So it's a lot of cards. You're not going to get repeats very often with this many different cards. I think it's pretty. I love the black background. It really makes the colors pop. I'm not a fan of split. Um, I'm not a fan of split storage, but I'll put up with it. 
Uh, overall, I think the production quality of this is absolutely stunning. Look at the, the book is great. The cards are beautiful, just the card. And this is not, see, the packaging is not like crappy cardboard that's going to shred and come apart. This is foam. So it's not going to shred. It's not going to unfold. And then your cards are all over the place. This is designed for you uh, to use forever. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's foam. So that's impressive. So it's pretty clear that Ambisun has thought of everything. Like, I love people that have really gone through and thought out the details. We have foam in here because most of these split cards are cardboard, and it'll, you know, it'll, it'll split or tear, and then it won't be sturdy anymore. And now your cards are all over the place. They used foam, so it's going to last forever. Beautiful stuff. I like the book. The book has all the details that you need, get you uh, started on that. And the packaging itself, this box is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Oh, this box is beautiful. It got a little pull tab so you can take it out. Let me uh, properly turn the book so the pull tab is going to be on the outside so I don't sit there and shake it to death. Okay, look at that. Look at that packaging. Ooh. Anyway, A plus, A plus. This is gorgeous. All right, let me know what you think about a little rain, a whopping fifty cards in a botanical oracle. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.